Hey buddy, it's Crazy Good Time 4 and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last episode, we went through boss battles with Meta Knight and uh, surprisingly had a really fast run. Faster than I <laughs> even close to anticipated. Um, in this episode, we'll be going through boss battles with King DDD. So, King DDD, uh, well, first off, Oh, which one do I use for All Star? I know I, I either use the purple one or the blue one. Actually, it was the purple one. It was the purple one. I definitely use that one. So for this one, let's go with Game Boy DDD. Why the heck not? Game Boy DDD is the way to go. Um, DDD is slow but strong and heavy. So again, he's an, he's another like Bowser Ganondorf kind of case. Although I think Ganondorf is a little faster. If I can, if I can just. Pull off some like really strong moves by DDD. Like his back air is a really good move of his. But I can just like pull off some back airs. I mean, I'm not doing that right now, but if I can, that'd be great. Yeah, his back air is like strong and it's uh, kind of fast too. DDD might have a little bit of trouble just because of how slow he is. Oh, he's gonna get hit. Oh, he's gonna get hit. Okay, it's fine. I actually did not mean to go for a dash attack there. <laughs> but this should kill. Nice. Hmm. If I could pull off forward smashers with DDD, I should be able to, you know, get through each of these bosses really fast. But that's if I can pull off his forward smash. That's if these bosses actually let me do that. Go, Waddle D. Oh, what? A Waddle D, actually, my fault. Oh wow, oh my gosh, did you see that? My guy went off on- I don't know why he got so much damage. Why Gallium took so much damage there. Was it because of the Waddle Dew? That'd be funny as heck if it was. If the Waddle Dew was like actually OP as heck. It's gonna fall down. Apparently he doesn't fall down unless he's like, has more damage on him. Which I never really realized that. Unless this falling down thing is random. But I think it only really happens when you know, he's he's like really low on health. Also taking care of like the hardest bosses first. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanna do. This is what I want to have happen. Oh no, I'm I'm screwed. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's alright. Oh great, now the, this move. Oh wow, they just they they dipped, okay. Like nah. He's he's just out. Okay, maybe I should go for forward air. I think it's gonna be an easier one to hit with. Ooh, somehow did not get hit. I dodged that. Hello. I couple. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I'm at 94% already. Oh joy. There we go. Okay, thank freaking goodness. I was not gonna let the rockets do any damage to me. 94. Yikes, now it's the third boss, too. DDD is having a rough- oh, Selby, let's get that. DDD is having a rough time of boss battles so far. Like, yikes. If I can take care of Porky, it's like, soon, that'd be fantastic. Okay, good. Let's do some forward airs. Forward airs is probably the best thing to do for with DDD. I like his back air a lot, but it's not a- That was stupid, that was stupid, that was stupid! Huh. His back air is nice, but it's a little more difficult to hit with. Because sometimes when I try to go for another back air, it just, he turns around and does a forward air. So, I'm probably not going to, you know, focus on back airs. If I can pull up off a back air, great. But I'm not going to try and go for continuous back airs unless, you know, the opportunity, prese the opportunity it presents itself. Uh, PD, okay. I guess down smash, probably? Although his down smash is really slow. So I don't know how well that's going to work. Eh, it's not terribly slow. It is his fastest smash attack, I'd say. I'd say thanks. At least that's what it seems like. Also, DDD, I, I probably should mention this. He ha he has multiple jumps. So, you know, if I get hit off stage, I should be fine. Because I should be able to get back on. And he has a really good recovery, too. If you're not used to, like, controlling it, then it might be a little problematic. But overall, it's not a terrible recovery. Like, it goes really high. And also does a lot of damage when he comes back down. And you can cancel it too. So, I think it's like down, right? Yeah, okay, down to cancel it. 
Okay, Meta Ridley. Uh, I can do this. This one's not going to be too terrible. Seems to be that uh, Porky's going to be one of the final bosses, so that's great. <laughs> that's just fantastic. Gotta love Porky. Yeah, look at that back air. Look at that back air strength. Mmm. And forward smash. Yeah, his forward smash is really good. The only problem is that it's so slow, so it's a little difficult to actually pull off. But if I can pull it off, then I'm definitely going to, 100%. Oh, that didn't even reach. Okay. Shouldn't have even tried it. Oh my gosh, that was close. DD may be a heavyweight, but at least he's a, he's a little uh, versatile. No, no, versatile is not the right move. Right, not the right word. Um. Okay, now it's Porky. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that from Zelda? It might be. He's he is he's a little quick. He is a little quick on his feet. Compared to like most of the heavyweights, he's probably one of the fastest. DK might be a little bit faster than DDD, but even then, it's probably not by that much. Like, I'm talking about, like, the big heavyweights. So, like, I ain't talking about, like, all heavyweights, like, you know, like, Falcon or Link, you know. I, even then, Link is Link is a heavyweight, but he's also, like, super slow. So, but he's not, like, a super heavyweight. Oh, that was stupid! That was stupid! He's doing this move! Ooh, we're fine, we're fine. As long as I didn't have too much damage on me, we're fine. Ooh, that scared the heck out of me. It's a good thing I didn't have too much damage and that I was also heavyweight. Oh boy, okay, now it's just the hands. So the hands shouldn't be that bad, but I'm still gonna take a hard container. Because I just don't want to risk anything. I'm a little worried how DDD's gonna be on Taboo. But I feel like it, I don't know if there are any of his moves that are gonna be too good. Oh, he's up here! His up here does some damage. Oh, uh, that's great. His up air does a little bit of damage, I ain't gonna lie. How did I get hit? I dodged. Man, he must have more ending lag than I thought. Like, sheesh. I'm already at 37%. Yikes. I don't know if I... I don't like that at all, actually. 37. Okay, just have Master Hand and Taboo. Uh, hopefully we can do this. Let's do a Taboo. Or, sorry, Master Hand. Okay, Master Hand should be a little more easier... A little easier to take care of than his brother. Which is good. Oh no, not this move. Yeah, I did not expect DDD to get out of that. Oh. Maybe just jumping into the air and air dodging that move is just a way better idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's doing this. Thank goodness you're doing this. And neutral air. Very nice. Oh boy, Master Hand and Crazy Hand, like even though they're one of the easy they're some of the easiest bosses. They're still pretty scary to fight, um, like, later on in Intense. I'm definitely taking a hard container. I'm not going in with 93%. Okay, Taboo. Let's see how this goes. A little scared, not gonna lie. There we go. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Sniped. Sniped with the Waddle Team. How? What the freak happened? How did I get hit by that? What? Or grabbed, I should say. Like, I'm actually curious as heck. How the heck did I get grabbed by that? I dodged that perfectly. Okay. Now that kind of worries me about off waves. Because what if I don't dodge that perfectly? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Oh, I was gonna. I was thinking about using... That was a Gordo. Okay. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't, like... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't take out any of, um... Any of my boys. Just because they might screw me over. Because I think the reason why I didn't dodge that whip was because I... When I air dodged, for some reason, I think he grabbed the Waddle D. And because of that, um... You know, he just grabbed the Waddle D instead of air dodging. So that's just great. Also, I'm at 50... I'm at, I'm at 57% right now. Which is not ideal. He's gonna do this. Oh, I almost got him too. Come on, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. And let's go. Good stuff, DDD. All three Kirby characters, first try. Very stinking nice. Let's jump on the edge.
Very nice. Okay. Whew. DDD was kind of scaring me. I'm not going to lie. He was kind of scaring me. I kind of did not expect to do so well with him. I mean, I took... I had to take a hard container after the third match, for goodness sake. And Taboo, oh my gosh, I took so much damage on him. At least I got through. At least I got through. But yeah, oh, I didn't mention this, but with Meta Knight's run being finished, we're now officially halfway done with uh, boss battles. Yeah, halfway done with the roster for boss battles. So now we're, now we're you know, even more halfway done. But that doesn't make... How, do you can be even, how can you be even more halfway done? You're the halfway... You're either halfway done, or you're less than halfway, or more than halfway. Can't be more halfway. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the next one, we'll be going through boss battles with Olimar. Another character where I'm very, you know, curious to see how this, how, how it's gonna go. Because Olimar is light, but he has a lot of good moves, uh, especially his aerials. His aerials are really nice against uh, bosses. So, maybe we'll have a good run. I don't know. Maybe this whole column will be filled with good runs. I guess we'll see. But with that, uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, including Twitch, is of course down below in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Pop Tart, out.